<laughs> Jeez. He hit as soon as he hit the water. Oh, I am having a good time, folks. God, I'm having a good time. Hello there, folks. So, as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm talking about what I consider to be the best early snakehead season lure. Now, can you catch them on other lures? Yes, conditions dictate. But if I had to pick one lure for the early season, it's going to be the MEPS, particularly MEPS number four. Now, I was fishing that on a St. Croix spinnerbait special rod. It's the Mojo Bass, seven foot, medium heavy power, moderate fast action. We were out there, you'll see, I was seeing snakehead rise everywhere. It was in the afternoon, it was relatively shielded from the wind, that water was getting warm, and when that water warms up, that's when that snakehead activity really gets going. And you can tell, because you'll start to see them surface. And I threw everything after those fish. I was throwing spinner baits, I was throwing swim baits, I was throwing various soft plastics, I was throwing chatter baits, click baits, I was throwing pretty much everything I could think of, and just couldn't get those fish to hit until I put on the mesh. So let's get to the action and you'll see me putting it into use. And if you like the hat I'm wearing, make sure you check out Bay Life. I'll leave a link in the description and you can get one of your own. Oh, I just missed one because I was on the phone. That was the first solid hit that I've gotten. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I should not have been on the phone. That's why I hate getting phone calls when I'm fishing, man. Oh, there he is, fish on. Feels good too. Big snake, nice snake. Oh yeah, stay down you. Oh, I got one folks, I got one. Oh, I think it's a nice one. I think it's a really nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he is freaking out. He is freaking out. Stay out of the rocks. Oh my God, it's a monster. It's a monster folks. Oh, it's a monster. Oh yeah. Oh yes, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Get off that stick. Oh, what a thicken. What a thick baby. That MEPS, baby. Oh, that MEPS. Come here, you. Oh, it's a thicken. I wouldn't quite call him Dragon, but I'm going to measure him, and I'll tell you for sure in a second. I think he's going to end up being high 20s. Open that jaw. Oh, he's not opening up. I'm going to try and grab him. All right, I've got him. I can get the grips in. This is a thick fish. Okay. All right, we got our own grips. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh man. I got her. I think she'll go 25, pushing 26. Let's find out. Oh, what a fish. Right at 25. That's a thick 25, man. Cash 22 out. Get my phone, which is over here. Oh, heck yeah. Boy, I love a MEPS. Oh, she hit like a ton of bricks, too. Oh, I love these fish. God, I love these fish. <sighs> and you're lucky, buddy. You are lucky that Rashawn didn't bring his fish bag. Because <laughs> you are about a perfect harvest size. Absolutely perfect, and how thick she is. Oh, she would yield some just absolutely phenomenal fillets. Get off of there. I saw this one rise out there, and I had just missed another fish, but it wasn't a snake because I didn't see any bubbles. Ugh. Trying to get this hook out without bending it all to hell. It's going to be tough because I got him double hooked. Oh, there we go. That should help. I got one hook out. There you go. There you go. There you go, beauty. Whew, what a beast. What a beast. Yes. Oh, I love it. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look at that death roll. Look at that death roll. That is my first snake of the year on lures. It's only my second time out for him. Had a great time out last time using minnows, but man, I love me some lure fishing. All right, here you go. Oh yeah. So a quick note on using the MEPS. A lot of times the wire when you're fishing with snakehead can get bent to include the hooks and the shaft. 
Take a close look at it, make sure you tweak it to get it back to where it should be so it runs smooth and gives you solid hookups on those fish. That's more like it. Ooh, so much movement. I am really tempted to put on a topwater lure. It would be so cool to get a snake to come up on top for today. Jeez! He hit as soon as he hit the water. Holy crap. Another nice snake. Another nice one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am having a good time, folks. God, I'm having a good time. Look at the thickness on these fish. Look at the thickness on these fish. Lord almighty. She crushed it. Wonder if I got that jump on camera. Man, I hope I did. I really hope I did. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Not quite as long as the last one, but boy, is she thick. Ah. I'll tell you what I told your buddy. You're lucky. <laughs> I don't have a fish bag or a cooler. Because <laughs> you would be coming home. Yes, sir, you would be. Folks, I said earlier today, that if you can get out on the water, get out on the water, and this is why. We got a cold front coming in. This water's darn near calm. You may have even just heard that other fish jump. I'm seeing fish rise everywhere. <laughs> These prefrontal conditions are prime. Just prime. Oh, what a beauty. What a thick beauty. All right, gorgeous. What a thick little beast. Look at the back on her. What a thick little beast. Thank you. So long now. Another fish just moved over there. That's way too far in. Ooh, that's a snakehead all day. That's a snakehead all day. Ooh. Ooh. That was a snakehead all day. He crushed it. They're still biting. They are still biting. He almost took the rod out of my hands. That was, he, he crushed it. I don't know how that didn't hook up. These fish have me wired. Come on, baby, you sure struck last time. Get it this time. Come on. Furious, boom! No, 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 no! <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? <sighs> How did that not hook up? Well, folks, those last two misses really hurt. No doubt about it, those last two misses really hurt. But other than that, it's been a fantastic afternoon. I got my first two snake out of the year on lures. I'm so happy I was able to make it out for a few hours today. Thanks to Rashawn for getting me out here. Thanks to my family for covering down for me to get out here. But now it's time to pack up, head on home, take care of the family, and be thankful for the day that I had. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.